In this lesson, we're solving word problems using linear equations in slope-intercept form. That is y equals mx plus b. So let's go ahead and get started. So when exactly do we use slope-intercept form to solve word problems? Well, we use it when we're given a rate of change, which is our m. And remember, m is your slope. And we have a starting point, which is our b or our y-intercept if we were graphing. So some examples of uh, rate of change or the slope are price per gallon, uh, cost per hour. So normally when you see that word per, um, that is gonna give you a rate of change. And then your starting point would be a flat rate or an initial cost. And so something that does not change. So an example could be um, if you have a cell phone, cell phone, um, if you pay a flat rate of let's say $50 a month and um, you're going to uh, incur additional costs uh, for the minutes that you use or if you go over a certain amount of minutes that you use that would be that rate of change and so um, that's just an example of a real life situation of using slope intercept form but let's get into some into some um, word problems. So let's take a look at example one. It says Jael is going to the county fair this weekend. The admission to the fair is $5. So her admission is $5. Let's take note of that. And the cost per ride is 50 cents. If her parents gave her $20, write and solve a linear equation to find how many rides she can go on. So the first thing we want to do is write a linear equation. And so we need to identify the initial value and the slope or the rate of change. And so if we look, we can see that the emission, that flat rate is $5. So we could say that is our B. And then it is going to be 50 cents per ride right here. And so um, we could say that is going to be our rate of change, which is our M. So remember slope intercept form is Y equals MX plus B. And so we just need to fill in M and B. So we could say that our um, M is that um, 50 cents, put a zero in front. Our B is that $5. And so our equation, filling in M and B, would be Y equals 0 0.50 x plus our b is five dollars so that is our equation and so now we're asked to find um if her parents gave her twenty dollars write and solve an equation to find out how many rides she can go on and so um the first thing we did was write that equation and so um we could use this with any value and so in this case we're going to use twenty dollars but the equation we wrote, we can actually put in any num any amount um, to find out how many rides you can go on. So the question is, are we going to plug that in for our X or for our Y? So what does X represent? So our rate of change is 50 cents uh, per ride. So we could say um, that our X is going to represent the rides, right? Uh, so 50 cents per ride. So this is the cost um, she would pay if uh, 50 cents per ride right here. And then um, that Y value is going to be how much she spends. And that is going to be dependent on how many rides that she rides. But if she's given $20, um, that $20 is going to depend um, that $20 is going to dictate how many rides she can ride. So we can, we need to plug in our $20 for the Y value because that is going to be our result of how many rides that she rides. So let me plug that in. And then I'm just going to solve for X. So two-step equation, subtract five, get 15, 0.5x or 0.50x, 
one step equation we're going to divide by that 50 or 0. 0.50 and 15 divided by 0. 0.50 is 30 so x is 30 so we can say that she can ride 30 rides with $20 at this cost. Let's take a look at example two here. It says, while visiting Crystal Lake, Charlie decided to go kayaking. The rangers charge $8.50 per hour in addition to a $25 deposit to rent the kayak. If she rented the kayak from 11.30 a.m. until 2.30 p.m., write and solve a linear equation to find the total cost to rent a kayak. So again, the first thing we want to do is locate our rate of change. And so that would be 8.50 per hour. We see that word per, so that is going to be our M, our slope or rate of change, and $25 deposit. So that is a flat rate that um, she is going to pay to um, rent the kayak. So that is going to be our B. So I'm simply going to plug that in to slope intercept form M and B. So Y equals my M is 850 per hour. I'm just going to write 8.5 X, but you can add the zero if you want. And plus B, which is that $25. So that is our equation. But now we're asked to write and solve a linear equation to find the total cost um, to rent the kayak. So let's note that she did rent the kayak from, um, <clears throat> excuse me, 11.30 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. So we need to see how many hours that would be because it's $8.50 per hour. And so right off the bat, we should realize that, okay, $8.50 per hour is giving us time. And so uh, we're going to actually plug in the amount of time for X because um, this is going to be per hour right here. And so from 11.30 to 2.30 um, p.m., that is three hours. 12.30, 1.30, 2.30, yeah. <laughs> so that's three hours. So we can plug that into our equation. So instead of plugging in for Y, in this case, we're going to plug in for X because it's 8.50 per hour. And so that X is going to represent the amount of hours. So we're plugging that in for X this time. And just solve it. 8.5 uh, times 3. That is about 25.50, I think. But let me double check. Let's see. Yeah, 25.50 or 25.5. So just want to make sure. Plus 25. And that is going to give me $50.50, 5.5. So we can change this 50.5 to um, money. So in, in money, if you write it as money, you put a zero behind a five. So that's $50.50 to um, that she's going to pay to ride the kayaks. Let's take a look at example three, which is the last example um, I'm gonna do with you before I have you try one on your own. It says, Allison bought a new truck for $42,935. According to the dealer, the truck will depreciate, that's an important word here, at approximately $4,200 per year. Write and solve a linear equation to find how many years until the truck is worth $5,135. So as usual, let's look at our rate of change and our initial value. So the initial value would of course be B because that is how much she paid. Um, that amount is not going to change. That is the rate, not the rate, that is the amount that she paid for that truck, $42,935. And it says the truck will appreciate not appreciate, depreciate at $4,200 per year. So that is going to be our rate of change or our M, but the word depreciate, when you think of uh, 
the prefix here D. Depreciate, that means to go down in value. And if you didn't know what that word exactly means, you could actually look at the value that we have here. It says the choke would be worth $5,000, just a little over $5,000 in um, so many years. And so that value would have to go down. So we can just use some reasoning there. Depreciate means that value is gonna go down. And so our M will actually be negative 4200 because that value is going down and our b as denoted earlier is 42935 dollars so let's write our equation y equals negative 4200 x plus 42935 dollars that is our equation but then we're asked to solve a linear equation to find out how many years the truck is worth will be <laughs> let me read correctly write and solve a linear equation to find how many years until the truck is worth $5,135 so it's asking us how many years so there's years is that going to be um, x or y and so well it's $4,200 per year right so that's per year but we're asked how many years? So that means we're not given that information if we're asked how many years. And so our value here for that 5,135 would have to be for our Y value. So plugging that in, that is going to be $5,135 is equal to negative 4,200 X, trying to fit it in here, plus 42,000 $935. And um, solving that, we're subtracting um, $42,935 from here from the 5000 And that is going to give me negative 37800 is equal to 42 or 4200x. Don't forget that negative dividing by 4200 to get that x by itself and negative 37,800 divided by a negative 4200 would be nine so x is nine and so how many years would it take the car to get to what a value would be 5138 that would be at nine years all right, so we have solved this word problem using slope intercept form. I would like for you to try this problem on your own. It says if you buy a car wash at the gas station for six dollars, the cost per gallon is two dollars and thirty-five cents. If you have forty dollars, write and solve a linear equation to find the number of gallons of gas you can afford. So remember, first write that equation, box that in, and then secondly. Um, find the how many number of gallons of gas you can afford with $40. So go ahead and pause the video and try this problem on your own. Our final answer for the amount of gallons that you can afford is 14.47 gallons. And so my equation was Y equals 2.35X plus six and again 14.47 gallons and so hopefully you got the answer correct.